Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, today we're going to show you how to change this navbar from the regular navbar here to a transparent one that, when you scroll, will change color. So we're going to change it from something like this, which is OK, to something more like this, which for a hero section, if you want to display more of the image, you've got your little links up here and your logo. When we scroll down the page, it's going to change color. That way, when it rolls over the white stuff there, you're still going to be able to see it. When it gets back to the top again, it's going to change back to that. There's no coding involved in this today. We can do it all with the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. I'm going to close this page up here. This is what we've got at the moment. What we're looking at there is the regular navigation. So let's go over to our dashboard. Once at the dashboard, we're going to go down to Appearance and Customize. That's going to take us to this page here. If we go to our header and navigation, we've got our primary menu bar. This is our primary menu bar right there. So let's go into our primary menu bar here. I'm going to go down. We've got background color there. I'm going to click on the actual color itself, which is white at the moment. This little variegated slider here, I'm going to drag it all the way down to zero. That's going to make it totally transparent. And you might notice when I do that, the header jumps up. Which is great, that's just what we want. But I can't read my links over here very well because they're in that dark grey. And I don't think my logo is standing out that well. So here we've got our text color and our active link color. I'm going to change both of those to white. Obviously, you choose a color that works for you. And the active link also, I'm going to change to white. Now, when you actually change these text colors, sometimes the opacity slide is going to be down a bit. bit so you've got a dull sort of white there or a gray, if you like. Make sure your opacity is all the way up if you want it to be a nice bright white like that. That's great. Then when we scroll down the page, we want it to change color so that you can actually still get these things when they're rolling over the lighter parts of the site. Now, when we, once we roll down, we're no longer looking at our primary menu bar. If I go back here, we're actually looking at the fixed navigation settings. So let's say I want that to turn black when we scroll down. I want to go to primary menu background color. Right now it's set to white. I'm going to change it to black. I'll make sure my opacity is up there. When I scroll down there, as you can see, it's filling in black, which is just what we want. And again, I'm going to change the actual link colors. Primary link, I'm going to make white. And active primary link, I'm going to make that white also. Now when I scroll down, Those are really standing out nicely against the background there. If I roll back up, it becomes transparent again at the top. Like I say, not too pleased with the way my lo logo is displaying up there. It's okay. But I think I'd prefer a different one. To change the logo, make sure you publish your changes here. We can exit out back to the dashboard. To switch out that logo, we need to go down to Divi. I'm actually on there at the moment. Under the general tab, right at the top, we've got a logo here. I'm going to upload a different one. Clicking on the upload button. I should have my white one. There it is right there. I'm going to set that one as the logo. Make sure I save my changes now. Got the little green check mark. If we go back to the site, this is what we had originally. Now if I refresh, we should have our transparent header. And there it is. And it should come in black when we scroll down the page. Fantastic, just exactly what I wanted. This is great for one page scrolling sites. And if you've got multi-page sites and you're using perhaps a dark image or something dark at the top, this is a fantastic little feature to have on that site. So there you go, guys. Here's how to create a transparent header the changes color on scroll. Really easy to do, no coding involved in this today at all. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. We'll create a little demo video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.